Roma Downey has been teaching us to look for God's blessings in our lives. And you've also been teaching us, Roma, how to stretch and expect God to give what's needed when it's needed. Nowhere did I think you stretched more than when you and Mark made the Bible. 100 million people would go on to watch it. Everyone thought at first you were crazy. You even started this without the character of Jesus being cast. Tell us how God <laughs> met you for this. I know, I mean, we already had scripts written. Money was being spent, a lot of money. Casting was, was well underway and we were scouting locations in Morocco, but we still hadn't cast the most important role, our leading man, the critical role of Jesus, our savior. And to say that we were nervous would be an understatement. Um, I put out a letter to everybody I knew with a header saying, looking for Jesus. And, um, <laughs> and um, anyway, we got sent a tape of a lovely actor called Diogo Morgado. I had reached out to his agent to see if we could meet with him. I was told he was traveling. I said, oh no, where is he traveling? They said Los Angeles. I was like, thank you, Father. That's where your home is. that's yeah. where we were. And uh, we invited him to come and meet with us. He was walking down the path. My husband and I were looking out the glass window to get a look at him. It was such an important role that we had to cast. And as he was walking down the path towards us, what looked like a small bird swooped in front of him. But Lorna, it wasn't a bird. It was a butterfly. <laughs> and when I tell you that butterflies have just shown up, that they've been my answer, that they've been the reassuring sign that I've needed my whole life, when that butterfly almost knocked Diogo Morgado off his feet, I knew for certain that this was the actor, that he was an answer to a prayer. And for anybody that saw the Bible series, or saw the follow-up movie, Son of God. They know what a beautiful portrayal uh, Diogo did in playing the Lord and how through his tenderness and compassion, so many people um, uh, were able to, some of them are hearing the story of Jesus for the first time. Well, we may not need to cast an actor in such a significant role, but what you're challenging us in your biography and in your collection of your beautiful devotional readings, scripture, hymns, uh, beautiful literature uh, that's been kind of bite-sized put in here. You've opened your private devotional life, some of your favorite art. Um, and I know it's a beautiful book. I mean, I want to create something that would be a gift, not just for yourself, but maybe for somebody you love, you know, maybe for your mom, your sister, your neighbor, yeah. or somebody that might need a little bit of encouragement. This is a book to get, read it, and share it. Read it and share it. Roma Downey, you've shared every, uh, every day with us in the last number of weeks just how we can discover the blessings that God has. Thank you for opening my eyes in a new way. You're a treasure for oh, us. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Lorna. Thank you.